In this video, we will create another child class that does some other behaviors. So if we uh, run this program right now, and you'll remember, we have a single child class that does just that. Doesn't have any extra behaviors. Well, let's, we're going to create one that has gravity and can jump now. All right, so let's create a new class. We'll call this child2. Child2, we're going to want to give some additional functionality to. So we'll create a couple fields to handle the additional functionality. And these additional fields, I should say, are we just need a private double dy gravity and jump. So we'll let this, uh, this iteration of our, this like child of our parent class jump. So I'll create a constructor, public child two. Um, and you can make a call to the super classes constructor, the dead parent class, the one from which you inherit, which I should say extends dead parent class, by saying super. That's the super classes constructor method that I'm calling right there. You just have to sort of learn that that's what that does. Specifically, it makes a, it it asks the super parent uh, the the super classes constructor to do its job. So it's going to set all these values to an initial uh, setting. Well, I don't actually want the color to be white because um, that'll make it a little confusing. And I also have other variables that I need to initialize. So we're going to say. The other variables that the parent class has no idea about are our additional fields. So dy, we'll set that to initially zero so it's not falling, uh, or it doesn't start at any acceleration, or its velocity starts at zero. We'll say gravity equals uh, 0.8 at first, and we'll say the jump equals, let's set this to negative 25, so it heads back up, uh, dy changes to 20, negative 25, and then the color, just so we can see what uh, we got going on, we'll just say color.blue. Um, now you'll see the compiler is still angry at us, and can you guess why? Well, we haven't implemented the draw method, which is the one abstract method that we claim that this class is going to implement uh, by saying extend. So we need to do that at some point. Uh, and should we do that now? Why not? Okay, so um, let's do public void draw graphics 2d g and this method will just um, oh right g dot set color color and g dot fill rect uh, int we have to cast it to an int because it is initially a double over in our dead parent class, right? If we see up in the fields, there are doubles. So this method wants us to use ints. Uh, and we have to, oh, we did uh, get that. Okay. And then we have to do a couple other things. We're going to have to override some of the methods from the parent class. So um, we have to do something additional when the parent class's update method is called. Um, and so we're going to do that in set position. So you can override individual methods of a parent class, public void set position. We need to do some additional stuff in here. So we're going to say y plus equals dy, so inc increment y by the velocity, and dy plus equals gravity, increment uh, gravity by, or uh, the velocity by the accelerator, yeah, by the acceleration. Interesting. We're going to call super dot set position, and this makes a call to this because we're currently overriding it. So we're saying I want you to do something different. So this is an overridden method. If we didn't call this, none of the other things and like only this stuff would happen. But since we call this because uh, we are overriding the method, we need to call it. Uh, all of the set position stuff from the parent classes method will now happen. Um, and people are starting to come into class, so I'll make this into a two-part video, which is fine. So I'll come back in a little bit.